Hi guys, welcome to another Block Spotlight. Today we're going to be having a look at the Automatic Crafting Table Mark II. Uh, this is one of the blocks that Imibis adds, um, I think it's in the core mods, Imibis core. Now what this will do, it's, it will act like a crafting table, an automatic crafting table, but it works a little bit better um, in that it has a fairly large um, inventory as well as uh, its crafting grid down there, the output slot and a little toggle button between a single item and a full stack. So uh, how does this work? Well how, how do we make it first of all? There's two different ways of making this. Uh, the first one is to take a regular auto crafting table and that as you remember is wooden gears around a crafting table, a normal crafting table. Uh, then you put tra three transport pipes, a chest and wood in the corners. That will give you auto crafting table. Or there's an alternative way using red power uh, with filters and gold ingots and a chest. Uh, this way I think is probably a little bit more expensive this you can do with wood and a piece of piece of glass pretty much um, this one you need a bit more gold, redstone dope wafers, um, hand saws, and stuff like that uh, much more difficult to make it that way um, so how does it work? well I've got a a recipe set up here with the stone in now if we were to have some stone in the inventory at the top um, what it's going to do is, with this set on one, it's going to make one craft of this using the stuff in the inventory. Now, that could be in any slot. And these different rows are quite important. Uh, what they correspond to is uh, input sides. Each side will input into a different slot in this inventory. So, what we've got is it's in north, south, east, west will each correspond to a different one and I can show you that exactly here um, we have nothing in there at the moment so we have oak wood in there that's going to go into that middle row uh, dirt in this side that's going to go into the fourth row this one here spruce wood planks that will go into the second row this one here cobble will go into the top slot and underneath you can't see smooth stone smooth stone is going to go into the bottom row like that now this bottom row you'll see is shaded red uh, this doubles as an, an output row if whatever you're crafting doesn't stack so if you're crafting something that's not stackable it's going to go into here until there's no more room and when there's no more room uh, you will basically lose your items um, so be wary of that and also that bottom row if you are crafting uh, things like uh, think of something that's un unstackable uh, if you're going to craft things like uh, say pickaxes or something like that um, you can extract those from the bottom uh, otherwise let's um, let's show you on this one actually so if I throw in that there you should be able to just put a transposer on the top and if we get that turned around you extract from the top and to turn that around so when it crafts it should allow us to extract from the top let's use a button on that like so and that's going to uh, it's going to output a single and then that should make another one uh, like so so there we go, that's that's how you would extract, obviously you'd come up with a different way of extracting um, probably a retriever or something like that uh, but as you can see, being able to specify 
uh, which side or, or separate your inputs like that means that you can get away without using a regulator or any other method of of restricting how much uh, material you send into your crafting table storage uh, you can just throw it in there knowing that it's got its own little inventory space for that product and you can then pull it out of either the top or the bottom depending on what it is you're making so there you go there's the automatic crafting table mark 2 uh, very interesting take on the original auto crafting table from Billcraft. Uh, this one I think is is considerably better. Um, certainly opens up a lot a lot more opportunities to uh, to craft some things using uh, say red power and things like that. So there we go. Hit the subscribe button if you've enjoyed this. Um, I'll see you next time for another spotlight. Thanks for watching.